Hey, it's Chris Safety Dog here. Personal conveyance, video number two. Yeah, sometimes I'm a crazy guy. <laughs> what do we need to talk about here with personal conveyance? If you are traveling from a shipper's or a receiver's and going to a motel or to a restaurant for your evening meal or your breakfast, it doesn't matter. You can log that as personal conveyance. And you can even take your trailer with you. Yes, it can be loaded. That still can be personal conveyance. Going to a place of entertainment, such as a movie, that too could be personal conveyance. If you're going from your terminal to your home, that can be personal conveyance. Going to a safe location. This is hugely important. We all know that there's a parking crisis right now and many shippers do not allow you to stay on their property after you have loaded or been unloaded. And you may have run out of hours by this time. But you can go to the first safe place, the first safe haven. Safe location must be the first available is what the law says. But you can get to your first location. That's a huge advantage. If a police officer requests you to move, knock, 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 you are parked illegally is what I'm thinking, and the police officer says, hey, you got to move. Well, you can move and mark it down as personal conveyance or personal use. And again, you can do all this with your trailer being loaded. The key component here is for no commercial purpose. That's the key wording no commercial purpose. You can't further yourself. You can't have advantages. So, and then lastly, let's talk about traveling home. Again, from an off-site location. So you've finished all your work, you're traveling home, especially as an owner operator, this can be personal conveyance. What can't you use it for? Well, the first keyword again is no commercial purpose. You can't use it to further yourself, to have an advantage off the logbook for either you, your shipper, or your company. You can't bypass available resting places. Let me repeat that. That is hugely important. You can't pass available safe parking spots just because you want to. You can't make a delivered trailer and then drop the trailer and go back to your terminal. That is for a commercial purpose. So you can't do that again, no commercial purpose. You can't continue the trip because again, that would be for a commercial purpose. You can't do this, you can't abuse, well certainly you can abuse personal use, but I'm not recommending that you abuse personal use. That would be an abuse of personal use is when you are furthering your trip. And lastly, if you're placed out of service for breaking regulations of 395 especially, those are the hours of service regulations. If you're placed out of service, you can't use personal conveyance. All right, loading or unloading, returning to the terminal. Again, you can't it's for no commercial purpose. So if you've been loaded or unloaded and now your trailer's empty and you want to get back to the terminal, that's not personal use. Again, I've said it several times, but for no commercial purpose. Now, your carrier, they could also put their own rules on it. I've had many truck drivers ask me, well, how many miles can I travel? There is no limit on the miles. However, your carrier could totally ban personal use or personal conveyance. They certainly could put a limit on personal use or personal conveyance, such as limiting the number of miles. Or they could say that you must be unladen, meaning unloaded, before you can use it. So the carrier could put all kinds of restrictions on it. That would be company policy, just so you know. But that's it. Personal conveyance, real quick in a nutshell, you can now move to the first safest location, but it has to be for no commercial purpose. All right, that's it. Safety dogs out.